What's good YouTube? This is White Boy 503 coming at you with another Android tutorial. Today's tutorial or tonight's tutorial, as you can probably tell if you watch my other video, I'm kinda doing them in a row. Just knocking them out of the way now. Well I can't sleep because it is almost midnight and Yeah, I just can't sleep. So uh yeah. Tonight's tutorial I guess is going to be uh the Sega. Sega Genesis which is uh really cool. I like it. I mean for all you those for all you people who love like Sega or not Sega, I mean Sonic and everything like that, you'll you'll appreciate this. So you just click it, it'll just say start downloading. I will provide a link in the description to this file right here, so and yeah. Wow, I downloaded it twice apparently. So you just click you just click on it like that. And it'll pull up. Uh, do you want to install? If it if it pulls up something else, basically saying like uh, that you haven't you haven't enabled um, like outside, basically outside uh, installations except from from like the the app store or whatever. Just go in and change that. It's not that hard. Oh crap! I clicked cancel on accident. So. Easy way to fix that. Go into my menu, and I have all my stuff categorized, which is pretty cool. Pretty actually helpful, actually. And I'll just click this one right here, and then click install, and then wait for it to install. It's not all that; doesn't take all that long. And we don't want to click open. We want to click done because, um, well, we don't have any ROMs right now, at least. So open our internet browser again. Ah. Sorry, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of difficult to film and hold the tablet. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to doing, like with the, uh, with like the computer and stuff like that, because I I can use the mouse and everything like that and still be able to do all. So it's it's going to take me a little bit. So, but don't worry, I'll get used to it. So for this, we're gonna use the uh, well. At least one of, was one of my favorite games growing up was Sonic uh, Spinball. So it's basically, as you can probably tell from the title, it's Sonic Pinball. Basically, Sonic goes around and does his thing as a pinball. <laughs> and uh, so we're just gonna download that right there. Well, it might help if I click it. Yeah, here we go. Let's see, starting download. Should pull up right there. I'm gonna drag that down, and as you can see, it says spinball or Sonic underscore spinball dot text. And how we're gonna fix that into saying what we need to say is going home, going into your market, and uh, back out of this. And this, what you wanna do is you wanna click up here in your search. And what you want to do is type that right there, download. And once you do, you're gonna download. You're gonna install the first one right here. It's called uh, Download All Files. Yeah, so you just install that real quick. Won't do any harm to your stuff. So I mean, don't worry. I'm not trying to get you to download something that's gonna harm your your Android device. And that's actually what it looks like. Um, it's uh, Genesoid, which is pretty neat name it's a little uh, picture of a Sega controller which is pretty cool so what you want to do is you want to go right here click your downloads and click the spinball and you want to click download all files and what you want to do is you want to you want to click right here click on it and you want to back and you want to name, and you want to put instead of uh, text, you want to put bin. And when you're done with that, for me at least, I went into my um, folders and everything like that, and I made a ROMs folder for Sega. I just click select this folder and save the file. And I'll show you guys how to um, do that if you don't know how to make like a, a folder and everything. So what you want to do is, uh, no. Okay, go on your menu, 
and you should have something that's called file manager if you don't I really don't know how to help you so what you want to do is you want to click that little button down there and click add new directory and just name it ROMs if my camera would focus I would show you come on it has a hard time focusing on this Android or on the screen or whatever I don't know why but come on okay it's not gonna focus for some reason I don't know why but uh, yeah just name it ROMs and then you can go in the area and then name once if I come at it at an angle you kinda see it and name one Sega and then you can just save it like that so now what you want to do is you want to go into your uh, go into your menu click on the um, Genesis Genesis Oid go down to the ROMs folder go to the Sega one and click uh, I've already done it a couple times so uh, that's why it has one more, more than one so you just click Sega Pinball and bam it'll have a kind of like funky setup at first like with the controls you, that's easy to change you just go into don't want to click that you go, click in your menu click settings and uh, input settings I think and yeah that, that'll show you the six button pad key mappings virtual keypad and you just click on the virtual keypad settings and then you can come down to uh, uh, D-pad and button layouts click on that one and then you just click bottom to bottom and then uh, just go back and it'll put both of them it'll put both of them at the bottom oh. it's kinda late so I might want to turn that down don't want to wake nobody up but yeah see works perfectly fine I will admit it will take a little bit to get used to because I mean for those of us who have played it on like the or played basically any game like if you're from the older generations like the console generations like it's just a little bit it's a little bit difficult trying to get um, get used to like the touchpad and stuff like that but I mean it's not it, it, it will be a pain at first I'll admit it but I mean once you get get used to it it's kind of it's kind of cool cuz I mean if you don't have like a, a PSP or anything that you can emulate it on it's real cool to be able to emulate it on like your 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 phone and stuff like that like I have it on my phone and everything like that and I play it all the time but I mean I don't know it it, it takes some getting used to cuz I mean of, of course it's kind of difficult to use the touch pads and everything like that and all that kind of stuff but yeah so uh Check out my other videos, check out my other Android tutorials on emulators so far, the PSP videos, my, actually I just finished the emulator series, well, so far I finished them, I mean I probably, probably will end up doing another emulator sometime down the road, but as of now, I am done with emulators, I'm going to focus more on SE plugins and stuff like that, but and we're going to be doing more challenges if you if you if you already subscribed to my channel uh, you would know that I do challenges try to do one every week and so far as of this as of this video we have done the um, cinnamon challenge the chubby bunny challenge and the raw onion challenge and the wasabi challenge so yeah uh, my, my motto for for a while now is going to be uh, basically help me grow because I mean it's it's kind of up to the viewers like you guys to help me grow help me like I guess become bigger on YouTube and stuff like that so share my videos share my channel I'm not asking you guys to like guys and girls I don't mean to be offensive so don't take it that way but like help me uh, spread my channel help me help me grow so yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be putting my Twitter down below in the description, along with the files that you will need to uh, get this thing running. Uh, the reason I'll be putting my Twitter is for the sheer fact if somebody, if one of you guys are miss 
one of my videos um, and you and you have my Twitter you, you're following me on Twitter you'll be able to um, if you have an Android or an iPhone or anything like that um, it'll send you like a, a notification saying hey I posted a video and I mean I know that can get kind of annoying every once in a while but I mean it for me it's it's very useful that way I know like the people who I follow and like the people who I watch on YouTube it, it helps me a lot to know hey they posted a video like for Epigraph Battles of History I mean that kind of sounds pretty dumb but I, f I, I try to follow them all the time and it, it's very useful to my phone to just give me giving me a notification say hey they post up a new video go check it out and so it's, it's just a lot easier to I guess um, follow my channel if you're also following me on Twitter so yeah uh, rate sorry about that but uh, rate comment and subscribe to my channel I know I kinda said that already but uh, yeah so I'll see you guys later peace